You're looking for grease nipple A. But didn't we do that last year? It's supposed to be done every year. Well, what does it look like? You can't have forgotten already. Give me a clue. Look, it's perfectly clear in the illustration. There's a star under here. Didn't you bring a torch? You didn't say bring the torch. You said bring your grease gun. There you are. Think yourself lucky. I know a dozen husbands who wouldn't let their wives near expensive equipment. <laughs> what do we do when they find the play? Is that a rhetorical question or have you found it? I'm not sure. Look, I'll leave you the book. Try not to get it filthy. I take a pride in my owner's marriage. But if you need me, how do I find Nippolet? You'll find it on page 32. You can't miss it. Look, I've got to go. It'll take much longer than I allowed for. But you can't just go, Redford. Yes, I can. Don't worry about me. I'll get to uh, oh. it. Hold it, Tolly. Hang on there. Oh, no. <laughs> Going my way, are you? I don't think I am written with, actually. Splendid. <laughs> Lucky I caught you, my friend. Yes, isn't it? <laughs> what are we waiting for? I'm waiting for a gap in the traffic. Oh, I see. I thought maybe we were waiting for Diana or something. Well, Diana's already gone. She'll be waiting for me. I suppose to pick her up at the shop in five minutes. Oh, well, I should get a move on then, if I were you, Tom. <laughs> Off we go. There's something coming. Him? Beat me him. him. I'd rather not take chances. Chances? You've been doing him a favour. Shooting out across his back. Yes, <laughs> well. That's what he needs, isn't he? He's just a careful driver. I hope to God he's a light sleeper. Uh, off we go. Not yet, not yet. We have to be sharp on the man. There's something coming. It's lunchtime if you don't snap it up. Redless, I'm sorry, but I'm doing the driving. I have to make the decisions. Quite right, Colin. Pay no heed to me. <clears throat> now. What is it? Put your foot down, now. There isn't time. Don't stop. There you are, you see? I mean, it's never again. Just put yourself in my hand. No, no, stop, stop! Oh, my God, what have we done? Have we knocked somebody down? We've run over an old person, haven't we? I bet it's a white-haired old lady. I didn't see her, because honest to God, I didn't see her. She must, have, she, must have, she must have leapt out into the roadway. They do, you know. We haven't knocked anyone down. Then, then what did you stop me for? You're going the wrong way. Hmm? Not to worry. I'll guide you around. Thank you, Redfordson. You can swing around here. <coughs> Wait a moment. I'm not going the wrong way. The shop's this way. I always go this way. Yes, of course you do. When you're on your own, Tommy. But I'm going the other way. But Diana's waiting up there. I can't go the other way. Yes, you can. You can swing around here. <coughs> Leave it with me. Just keep your eye on my signal. But Diana's waiting. Oh, we're not going far. We'll call for the Padre, then you can nip us along to the golf club. The golf club? All the way to the golf club? What right of you to stop the traffic? Every Englishman's right, sir, in an emergency. What emergency? We're on our way, sir, to fetch a clergyman. Would you deny a man the comforts of a priest? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you to stop the traffic? Ah, oh, shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. No wonder there's so much misery in the world with impatient fools like you. What misery? People on their deathbeds. People fetching priests. I didn't know. Shut up, you damn fool! <laughs> <laughs> Now? 
There's a young couple to see you. To see me? Yes, you. Young couple? Out there, this minute? Yes, they're at the door. Damn! <laughs> Trying to finish my sermon. On Christian resignation, is it? Don't be superior just because your wall's coming on a bit. <laughs> what do they want? Well, I think they want to get married. Aren't they sure? Damn it, I won't be interrupted if they're not sure. One in three ends in divorce already. Hardly worth filling in the forms, is it? They look so young. For weddings, they do tend to be young. It's funerals that are usually older. <laughs> you want to pay attention to details like that, Jane? Look, will you see them? Must I see them? Can't you see them? Oh, no, no, of course I can't. They want to see the vicar. Oh, ah, well, that's nice, isn't it? First time I asked for a spot of help. Hardly the first time. Turned down flat. We're supposed to be one flesh. You promised solemnly to love, honour and pull your finger out around here. <laughs> I consider I do. I helped you with your wall, didn't I? When? I bought you the plumb line. <laughs> nice new plumb line. But the first time I asked for a little bit of assistance. Oh, then it's a very different story, isn't it? Must I do everything around here? It's the same with the burying. <laughs> Why do they have to have me there? I mean, any fool could bury somebody. <coughs> oh, well, fair dues. If it's someone I know, I don't mind. Very embarrassing trying to carry out the funeral of a complete stranger. But these two don't want to get buried. They just want to get married. That's what they say now, but you mark my words, it won't stop there. <laughs> In a few years, they'll be looking for someone to bury them. What on earth are you doing under that desk? Well, can you give me a hand? I dropped my pencil. Well, what did you want to throw it down for in the first place? Ah, uh, a whim, woman. A whim. I confess it, just a whim. Oh! <laughs> Damn! Whoops. Is there no end to the pitfalls of the Christian life? <laughs> What did you say to that driver? His attitude suddenly changed. Most people are prepared to be reasonable if they handle problem. Some people aren't. Some people aren't at all reasonable. We have to be quite firm. I try. My God knows I try. So you want to get married? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I've got a book for it somewhere. <laughs> Here we are. Oh no, that's my funerals. You don't want to be in there. <coughs> Would you like a drink? I usually offer my prospective newlyweds a drink. Oh, I'm not touting for trade, you understand. They keep coming anyway. I don't have to give green shield stamps. <laughs> it's only a spot of homemade wine. That's very kind of you, Vicar. I should wait till you've tasted it first. <laughs> Pop your head round that door and shout shop, will you? <laughs> I've got a wife out there. Somewhere. <laughs> You're not the first at this lark, you know. Never mind, I'll do it myself. You'll soon get the hang of it. <laughs> you look very young for such a serious step. There was a time when I looked young before I started building walls. <laughs> she slips it into every conversation. It's her first wall. Your dog has started chewing my carpet. He's only a pup, damn it. I wish I could say the same for the carpets. We need new carpets. Maybe when you finish the wall, you could turn your hand to carpets. Oh, let me see your hands. Oh, what lovely hands. I used to have lovely hands. No need to terrify the girl. Walls are not compulsory. They are around here. I get people to help you. The organist. He gets me the organist. Can you imagine how much use an organist is at building walls? She's all right. So long as you can stop her putting in her own twiddly bits. <laughs> You're getting better. I know. 
What cheer up? It's just that at my last church, if they called for volunteers, you merely finished up changing the flowers or polishing a few things. But! <laughs> if you still want to get married, that's why we're here. Yes. M me too. Oh, I, I think it's so brave. <laughs> It, it, it's worth all the struggle. We've been very happy. My God, woman, your hands are rough. <laughs> <laughs> of course they're rough. Can't you find a handkerchief? I'm looking for a handkerchief. <clears throat> You'll find these little irritations. Continually. <laughs> Never mind, is she pretty? Can you bear to share a handkerchief? <clears throat> well, don't look at her now. Think of her in 20 years' time, sharing a handkerchief. <laughs> oh, my God! Thank you. Keep it! Are you coming in for a minute, Tolly? No, Redwoods, I am not coming in for a minute. I'm in a great hurry. Just keep the engine running. I will. Be back in no time. Oh. No, 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 put it down. <laughs> put it down. <laughs> I can't stand here watching you struggle like that. Ooh. You see? Not straining your backs. That won't do. Won't do at all. I'm so glad you came when you did. Here, here. I should think so, madam. Another few minutes of that, you'd have been in all kinds of trouble. <laughs> Must just lend a hand here, Tolly. Won't take a second. That's terribly kind of you. Yes, indeed. All right, are we ready? Yes, please. With all the help we can get. Good. Well, here's the secret. This time, when you pick it up, keep your back straight <laughs> and lift from the knees. <laughs> Off you go, then. Back straight. Bend the knees. <laughs> You'll thank me for this. <laughs> Another bed of lovebirds. You can marry them, I'm. Yes. Are they practicing? I expect so. Oh, there is a church girl. Oh, church girl. Oh. What's that fool? He's giving us a lift. Oh, is he? That's very kind of him. It's young Tolly. Young Tolly. He's in a hurry. Sounds like it. Standing still at 90 miles an hour. Diana is making fun. Oh, well, that explains it. Pity about Diana. Yes. You ought to be having a round of golf with us. Huh? Go chasing after Diana. Perhaps we can persuade him. Doubt it. He gets most of his exercise chasing after Diana. You think he's waving at us? That's certainly my impression. Well, there you are, is he? He's a pleasant enough chap. Well, he's not chasing after Diana. <laughs> She'll kill me. She'll be standing there waiting, fully dressed. With a hat on. She hates having to wait for a hat on. She'll kill me. They know she'll kill me. If they know she'll kill me, why did they get a move on? Oh, oh, oh. oh no. I'm overheating. Damn thing's boiling. Oh! <laughs> what I can't understand. Why she suddenly begun to chew the carpets? They say Hitler used to. Oh, but he was a vegetarian. Oh, you are, <laughs> Been over raving her a bit, have you, Tolly? I don't want to talk about it. Sounds a bit crook to me. She's hot. 
I know she's hot. Oh, damn it, Tolly. If you're going to steal one, I should pick one that starts. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not that kind of hot. I thought it didn't sound like Tolly. Doesn't sound like it's going to start, huh? No. That's right, Tolly. Say a little prayer. <laughs> Trouble with Tolly is often not too decisive. Would you like me to have a go? No, I would not. That sounds decisive enough. Oh, he's improving. I keep showing him the ropes. If it's any help, Tolly, we can get the bus. No, 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 no. We can't abandon the boy in this condition. You could if you tried, Rippers. You could abandon him in this condition. That's not the proper way. Yes, we'll have a little light refreshment till she cools down. And we'll be on our way. Hole in one. Hole in one. I know that, darling. I, I would have been there. I, I, I intended to be there. I'm, um, I'm on my way. Who are you with? What does it matter who I'm with? We're, we're waiting for the car to cool. I set off in time. <clears throat> I did set off in time. We were, we were doing fine, and then uh, fate took a hand. <laughs> Flew back from Bremen once on a hot engine. We had to throw everything up. I'll be there soon. I'm just giving someone a lift. Even the chemical toilet. What are you doing there? What am I doing where? Are you on a campsite? Where do you get these ideas? I'm not on a campsite. Why should I be on a campsite? I don't know anything about a chemical toilet. <laughs> not a lot to them, really. I don't care what you think you heard. I am not on a campsite. Tell her where you are, Matt. I'd rather not be staying. What a mind address. Tell her you're safe in the vicarage. <laughs> yes, I'm still here, Diana. Of course I'm still listening. It won't put her mind at rest. Of course it will, once she knows you're safe with the Padre and me. That's just the point. Uh, yes, Diana. No, Diana. Just the point. She gets a bit tense if she knows I'm involved with you, Redvers. Sounds rummy to me. No, I think you've got the wrong end of the stick there, Omar. Let me handle it, Tolly. I'm used to this marriage stuff. <laughs> Relax, Diana. Don't get your eyelashes in a twist. <laughs> Look, the, the boy's safe with the padre and me. Oh, red furs. No thanks, necessary, Tolly. <laughs> You'll be all right now. Does it sound if I'll be all right now? Tolly! Tolly, Oh, well, she's going to be unreasonable. <laughs> Diana? You just did. I noticed that. <laughs> Nothing to it, really. Just like the chemical toilet. Oh. <laughs> She'll kill me. Have another drink, Tolly. Enjoy yourself while you're free. Free? She'll be ringing back in a minute. <laughs> I'll take care of this. Home for delinquent girls, matron speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it would be. Oh. The bishop. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> the bishop. How many does he have? Yeah, well, he's given it a whacking. Mm. But what is this stuff? I haven't the faintest idea. The label came off. <laughs> <laughs> the bishop. Perhaps we'd better go before the bishop rings back. Yes, that might be a good idea. He's very boring on the telephone, and I can never shake the feeling he thinks I'm weird. Uh, weird? Just a uh, feeling, yeah. Very odd. There's that, too. <laughs> I've always said it. He's too young for a bishop. Mm. He's very popular with the media. Well, there you are, you see. Excessive wedlock, madam. By the by, um, uh, one of you, um... Could Jane be the name you're looking for? If the bishop calls, tell him I'm out, ministering to the sick. With your golf bag? I think she means your first aid kit. <laughs> Back straight, ladies. Bend the knees. Back straight. That's it. <laughs> I think you better drive, Redvers. 
Nonsense. I'm all right. I'll drive. It's not necessary. Perfectly all right. <laughs> Home for delinquent girls. <laughs> Matron speaking. <laughs> I think I'd better drive. I'm not a superstitious man, but Lord, yes, I think you'd better drive. No, no, I, I won't share it, and I've got the keys. Of the kingdom, if we're not careful here. We don't even know to start. Good thinking, Redvers. It's all yours, Tolly. Unless it starts. May as well sit down, Redvers, till it's time for the bus. We'll keep you company, Tolly. Till it's time for the bus. Least we can do. Come on, you little blinder. Good type, really. Sticks in the thing once he's started. Knows his engines, does he? He seems to know this one. Keeps calling it a name. <laughs> Look at this. The minute you touch anything in a motor vehicle, how to keep the stuff away from your hands. I usually let Mrs. Potter do it. Any good, is she? Not a lot, but she loves fiddling about. Of course, I supply her with rubber lungs. Thoughtful of you, Redvers. Oh, one thing I've learned in this lifetime. Keep your staff happy. Staff? She's your wife. Well, I know that. I was at the wedding. <laughs> Don't mention weddings. I'd rather we didn't start talking sharp. I'm quite right, Father. My God, you'd just see Diana's face if I bought her some rubber gloves. Well, you have to wrap them up a bit, make a little gift parcel. <laughs> you don't. Well, you can't just lob them in any old house. Women are funny about things like that. It makes them think you don't care. She'll kill me. Well, no wonder you haven't got the hang of this matrimonial lark if you've never practiced these little courtesies. It's worth it just to see the look of surprise on their faces. I think that's the part I like most. I always find it very moving. I'd have to move if I did that to Diana. The look on their faces when they first see the thing. It's worth all the bother. What have you bought, Jane, later? Cement mixer. Oh. <laughs> you did this. Call me extravagant if you like, but it's not the money, you know. No, they'd be just as happy with a simple thing. Diana wouldn't. We well, have to keep telling them. Diana prefers diamonds. Have another drink, Tolly. Thank you. Hardly worth getting your hands dirty, was it? Oh, it's you, Diane. Are they here? Who oh, dear? There was no reply from the vicarage. I thought they might be here. There's nobody here. Tolly was supposed to meet me an hour ago. Well, I'm afraid something terrible's happened to him. But he's with Redvers. That's what I mean. <coughs> what are you doing with the car? He's not got you working on his car. He has, hasn't he? He's got you working on his car. Well, only on certain parts. Aileen, why don't you simply refuse? Oh, I couldn't do that. Dear, it would hurt his feelings terribly. His feelings? Yes, you see, he thinks he's only doing this for me. <laughs> You're servicing his car, but in reality, he's the one who's doing you a favour. That's right, dear. That's exactly how he explained. Mm, very ingenious. I must hear this. Well, he wants me to learn these little jobs. I bet he does. So that he knows I can be independent if anything happens to him. What's going to happen to him? He never does anything. <laughs> well, I don't think he's anticipating anything immediately. Unless he's keeping it from me. You don't think he's had a premonition? If Redvers was bearing any burden, I'm sure you would be the first to know. He'd have roped you in to help him lift it. You don't think he'd keep anything from me? Not if it involved any work for him, he wouldn't. Perhaps I'd better go to him. Aileen, the only thing he's got is my husband. And I'm on my way to rid him of that. I'll come with you. Why is it we don't get pie crust like we used to? The thick, dark stuff? Yeah. I used to leave mine. Me too. 
I wonder what happened to her. They used to give mine to the dog. He used to leave it too. Yes, <laughs> But I doubt if he's in trouble. Oh, I wish I had your confidence. I do admire your pluck, dear. <laughs> but he's with two middle-aged men and one of them's a vicar. What could possibly happen to him? Aileen's batteries are running down. Are they? There she tells me. Jane's not as fast as she used to be. <laughs> she leaves them in, you know. Jane does? Well, there you are, you see. They're all the same. You could always take her mind off it. Send her on holiday. I suppose so. It'd be cheaper just to buy another pair of batteries, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Have you tried Eastbourne? I usually get them at W.H. Smith's. <laughs> Bit windy at times. The prices are reasonable, though. <laughs> <laughs> 